And one of the things you talked about was going into the military. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's great and everything. You know, salute to all um, all our um, veterans and all the people that are in the military. You guys are doing a great job. But I, I've never seen myself as a military wife or somebody that would, you know, date somebody in the military just because I just can't, I can't do it. My heart can't take it. So off the bat, knowing that, I already, like, made it clear, like, listen, you know, we, we, we vibing and everything, but I don't see this future for myself. And, you know, we, he was just like, ah, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But thank God today. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but knowing that information and also him knowing how, what I, um, my stance on that helped us make a decision on whether or not this was going to work. Welcome back to Red Freaking Fortress TV. My name is Emmanuel O. And I'm Lonnie O. And on today's segment of Light of Living, we're going to be discussing a topic that is there and there to our hearts. Mm -hmm. And it's called Dig Digging Deep. deep. Dig, Dig Deep. deep. Before deep, deep. you commit, yes. dig deep before, before you, you commit. commit. And yes. this is so funny because actually we dated for about six years before we got into um, before um, we got married. We, before we got married, we were already uh, always been in a committed yeah. relationship. It was always gonna lead to marriage, yeah. but we were digging deep regardless. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that's why I want to talk to you guys about that today because it's so important. You know, before you commit with, to anyone, before you say yes to anyone, yes. you really want to know this person yes. um, very well, at least, before you can say... Or at least know the foundations, the foundations of, of this right. person. And it's not about how long you've dated them yeah. for. It's not about that at all. I mean, we've met, we've met people who's only dated for a year, a year, two, years. two years, and got married, and they have a wonderful relationship, a yeah. wonderful marriage. A wonderful family so it's yeah. not about time at it's all just genuinely getting to know the person you are with and the person that you you want to be with mm -hmm. for the rest of your the life. person so you, you want to commit to so yeah. without wasting too much time the first thing you want to know is what shapes them mm -hmm. what shapes them hey we're talking foundational stuff yes. now you know what makes up this person mm -hmm. what is their what is their what is the fabric what is the fiber mm -hmm. that shapes this person so, into like, becoming who they are right. we're talking family background right. we're talking the, um, um their belief system their culture. we're talking their culture yes. we're talking the kind of tradition they're from you know if i'm nigerian for example she's also nigerian that's great but if she was for example uh, a Spanish lady or an American, for example, we have that, different cultures. We have so a different culture, a different background, a different belief. That, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So you just kind of want to understand what really shapes them. Like for example, I was telling her before we got on camera, if a guy was, you know, coming from a military background, and you know, you're dating this guy, and he's always like, like just on it all the time. <laughs> It shouldn't surprise you because right. that's, that's his, that's his, his founda that's, that's what shapes the man. You know what I'm saying? He's always, he's a go-getter. So you have to be able to kind of, you know, understand. align with that and understand yeah. that and know how that, you know, factors into your relationship yes. moving forward. Exactly. You know so what I'm that's saying? that's the foundation. Right? Number two. Is what drives this person. Mm. So what drives them, meaning like their ambition, their okay. aspiration, okay. meaning the things they want to become, the things they want to do. Because then, understanding these things, you already know the kind of mindset or the kind of future this person sees for themselves. And if this is somebody you want to be with long term, which is essentially the goal of yeah. being with a person, yeah. you date with purpose. So yeah. if this is somebody you see a future with, you need to understand what, it, what they see as their future. What is the, what drives them? What pushes them? You know, what is their ambition? What is their career goals and aspirations? Not, not, and, and not only that, too. How do you play into that, right? So, right. I mean, you know. Yeah. Once you once you know that from about the person, and the person knows that about you, then you guys can navigate how that works. Figure out how to and marry that to, together, you right? Know, exactly. Make it work together, but that's also important, so you know if it matches what you see for your future. As absolutely, well. absolutely. Right. I'll tell you a story when but we were dating. I was, right? <laughs> I was just about to say that too. Yeah, go ahead. Right. So when we were dating, when we, well, when we first met, literally when we first met, I think it was like like day a month two. after. Yeah. Was it, was well, it? well, we started dating like day two. 
to me. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, what, go ahead, go ahead. Well, it was like a month okay. after we met, mm-hmm. and we, we would be Skyping each other. It was like a long distance relationship for like the first two years. So mm-hmm. when we Skype and talk, you know, we're getting to know each other, and he was telling me about um, the things he aspired to do. And one of the things he talked about was going into the military. Yeah, yeah. You know, and. It's great and everything, you know, salute to all um, all our um, veterans and all the people that are in the military, you guys are doing a great job, but I, I've never seen myself as a military wife or somebody that would, you know, date somebody in the military just because I, I just can't, I can't do it. My heart can't take it. So off the bat, knowing that, I already like made it clear, like, listen, you know, we, we, we vibing and everything, but... I don't see the future for myself. Mm-hmm. And you know, we, he was just like, ah, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But thank God today. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but knowing that information and also him knowing how what I um my stance on that helped us make a decision on whether or not this was gonna work. Mm-hmm. I knew this was a, this was something he desired to do, and he knew this was something I wasn't really um I didn't really see it as a future of mine. So, mm-hmm. but with that, we're able to figure it out, you know, and kind of work something out that works for both of us. Absolutely. So, it's very important to know what the person's aspirations and ambition and what drives this person. And also to know how you play into that role, exactly. you know. Um, does your ambition match their ambition? Right. Can we work this out together? Mm-hmm. Does it make sense together? Or if it doesn't necessarily match their ambition, are you willing to sacrifice your ambition? For right. for for the for the for the sake of the the relationship, the you know, like me, couple. I didn't go into the military. I didn't end up going. I you know, I didn't go into the military um, because again, I knew this was somebody I wanted to be with for the rest of my life, right. and it wouldn't really sit well with her. I didn't, and not only that, I didn't want to put that on her, right? Like, right. I don't want a situation where she's worried about me every time I go out every and stuff like that. Day. So I was like, you know what? It's more important for me to be with her. Than to be in the military because right. the military was just gonna be like, and that was just one out of one, three. You know what I'm saying? One, one out aspect, of three, right? Exactly. You know, one aspect of my it wasn't gonna be my entire life that right. I couldn't live without. You know, I'm, I'm sure there's some it people was just out a there. Desire, you know, it was right. just a desire and stuff like. So I was willing to, hey, put that to the side and say, listen, man, I got the lady. We could be alright with the military stuff. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But you know, you know how that story goes. Number three thing that you want to know before you commit is what moves Moves them yes what moves them we're talking from an emotional Emotional standpoint right yes so we've talked about what shapes them we're talking we've talked about what What drives drives them them and we believe the next thing you want to know is how they work from an emotional standpoint Mm -hmm. man um if somebody was coming at you yelling at you how do you respond to that do you smack them in the face or do you are you more like relaxed and you just let them say what they have to say Mm -hmm. or are you just like an angry dude or an angry lady? You, right. How do you respond? Your emotional response to things. Mm-hmm. What are your pet peeves? What are things that would kind of trigger you or mm-hmm. kind of get you to just kind of react mm-hmm. in a way that, good or bad, either way, just in, in the emotional aspect of things, what moves that person? Absolutely. Know? What moves that person? Um, what kind of person they are? I think it also goes back to like their... Uh, uh, part of like maybe what shapes them you know are they sympathetic right you know uh, you know so it all yeah. connects it all right connects, so it's yeah. like what kind of person how do they respond to situations mm-hmm. um if something wasn't going their way are they just going to be angry right. if they you know if you you know if you didn't do something you they thought that you were supposed to do how do they respond to that right. so you just so want to know from an emotional, emotional standpoint what exactly, moves them right. or what makes them sad right, right. So what, what makes, makes them, them happy, happy what makes them sad what makes exactly. them uh, cheerful what makes them down a little bit like you just want to know all these things before you commit sense. because yes. hey man listen 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 <laughs> listen <laughs> listen okay you don't want to come home one day and say baby i couldn't cook today so i brought you food uh from the <laughs> local store and he's like uh what's that about you know who you think gonna eat this who, you think eat who this? do you think i am Eating the some, food that you got from the store. That way. You gotta, hey, you gotta know that. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> so you definitely gotta understand that. Number four, the number four thing that you so want to know it's is what stops or breaks them. Mm. Um, this one is more like the deal breakers. Mm. It also deals with the emotional aspect, but it's like one step further. You know, yeah. they react and then it's and that's like. It. 
whoa, what happened? Mm -hmm. So it's like the deal breakers, mm -hmm. what breaks them, what gets them to a point of like no return, mm -hmm. what gets them to the point of shutdown, mm -hmm. where they're not even, it's like they're not there anymore. We, right. we watched one show with um, a guy and a girl were dating and she <laughs> she kissed a guy just jokingly, she kissed another guy just jokingly. And once the guy found out, that was it. Mm -hmm. He was still, like they were still trying to make it work, but you could just tell from it, the way he reacted with her, from the way he was relating with her, mm -hmm. he was done. He was yeah. already shut down. Yeah. That was a deal breaker for him. Yeah. So you want to understand what the deal breakers are. What are things and, that and, and the funny, and the, to be like, I'm done. Right. And the funny thing is, the girl didn't even know she did anything wrong. She didn't She didn't think about it like that. Right. She was just she like, oh, it was, it was a joke. Right. It was a prank. I didn't really mean it. It didn't mean anything to me. And the guy was like, listen, I know what I want. Right? I don't want a girl who thinks that's funny. Right. I don't want a girl who thinks that's that's a that's a thing to joke about. So right. he and shut down. And it's important too because even when he shut down, though he didn't really communicate that with her, they were still trying to make it work. Mm -hmm. But you can see the signs. You can mm -hmm. see that he wasn't interested in it anymore. So that's important because sometimes a relationship could keep going and the signs are there, but you don't see it. So you have to know these things. What are the deal breakers? What gets this person to just kind of shut down? Yeah. Just be like, I'm done. Yeah. And shout out to sisters, man. We want, uh, sisters, sisters, uh, sisters. the Tyler, Tyler Perry show. Tyler Perry there's yeah. a, there's uh, actually sisters, yeah. right? So there's a, there's a guy in there who, um, a, a pastor actually, right? So he wanted to date another guy, uh, another girl that he met somewhere, and he had just got out of a divorce. A divorce. And the girl that he was trying to talk to asked him and said, "Hey, um, you know." So the guy came. He said, "Listen, I know exactly what I want." So the girl asked him, "If you don't mind, um, what 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 happened that right. you're that you're getting yeah. a divorce?" Right. Uh, and the guy said, "She cheated. Uh, she cheated on me." And then and the girl was like, "Okay, how many times did she cheat?" And he, he said, "One once. time." And she was like, whoa, and you're going to just throw it all you know, away and just leave her alone for that? And he was like, no, That's it. I, 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 I don't, I, I, I can't, I can't process. Yeah. I just can't process it that my wife would cheat on me. So I'm done. And he, he was not going to compromise. He no. was not going to like hear, hear, hear anybody yeah. out. He was, he was done, done. And yeah. he signed the papers, it was, was ready to give her whatever <laughs> she wanted. He was done. Yeah. And that's a crazy thing, but it's true though. Yeah. These are things that you have to actually look out for and be 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 um, be watchful of because you people could people react different differently ways. to different right. things, right? So you could date a person who might say, "Hey, you know what? If you cheat on me one time, we might be able to work it out. I'm not I'm not gonna forgive you easily, but you know we can figure it out." Figure it out. On the other hand, you can have somebody else who's like, "Listen, this is a deal breaker for yeah. me." This is a deal, yeah. a deal breaker for me. And then what else is a, a, a deal breaker for, for some people, um, especially girls? What, for, for the girls? Yeah. Um, cheating. <laughs> cheating? <laughs> what, about, what about disrespect? Well, disrespect, definitely. Disrespect. That's a deal girl. breaker? Before, before you commit. Oh, before you commit. Absolutely. Mm. It's a, some, people, some people don't take that. Okay. Yeah. So disrespect is a deal breaker. This is spread as a deal breaker. Another deal breaker for some people is if you don't get along with their family members, yeah. you can just forget about just it. Forget about it. You can just forget about <laughs> it. Like, you, bottom line though, you want to know what the what deal, deal breaker breakers. is with yes. your significant other before you commit. Absolutely. It is so important. Yes. And I think that's number four. Then and finally, the number five. Thing, number five. Is, what changes that? Mm. You know, this kind of connects everything together. Mm -hmm. So the reason why we say what changes them is because change is in there. Change is in there. The reason why we say, <laughs> the reason why we say change, uh, the reason why we're talking about what changes them is because change is in there. Inevitable. inevitable. That's okay. Just say it again. <laughs> change is inevitable. It's inevitable. Woo! <laughs> okay so um and you have to know how you how you can adapt to change things happen over the years you know as you grow and get older people change yep. not, it's not always for the worse it's not always in a bad way it's sometimes in a good way but you have to be able to adapt and understand what it is you're okay with what kind of change you're okay with what kind of change you're willing to accept yeah. moving forward yeah. um so I can I can give myself for example, when when we met, I was skinny. Mm -hmm. I was a toothpick. I was mm -hmm. skinny. I was really really small. 
and oh, pop two babies out and I gained some weight. I mean, I, I look good, but, <laughs> but I gained some weight. You know, when we met, I was really small. To him, that could have been what it was for him. Ooh, he likes some small, skinny girls. And then we get married and we have babies and boom, you know, I, I, I put, get some little meat on my body. Mm -hmm. And he's like, whoa, that's not the girl I married. Right. You know, you have to be able to know whether you can adapt to certain changes mm -hmm. because people do change. Mm -hmm. Luckily for him, I look good. So he was like, ooh. Oh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm in there. <laughs> I'm in there all day, all night, you know what I mean? But though, not Anyways. on a serious note, you really do want to know what really does change them. Because mm -hmm. people go through things in diff their different stages of life would bring different things. And you have to be willing yeah. to be okay with that, right? Yeah. A person can lose their, their mom, their dad, for example, and that could change them. Yeah. That could cause them to shut down a little bit. That could cause them to... To, to react or not be as open as they used to be, you must be okay with that, right? Yeah. So, you, bottom line is this. Know what change you're okay with. Like, understand. Right. Yeah. Be willing and ready and prepared to take whatever change happens. Yeah. It's all about how much you love this person, right? The change part, that's life, right? But you have to find somebody that you're willing to go through that with, with right? Exactly. That's the same. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, Okay, so she put on a little weight. She, you know, got the first baby, got the second baby, and she's not, you know, the same shape that she used to be, but she's in a much better shape, I'll tell you that. But, 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 though, here's the thing. Whenever we feel like, yo, we're, we're gaining weight and it's becoming too much, we push each other. Yeah. And we say, it's time to go back to the gym. Mm -hmm. It's time to change the food we're eating. Right. Because it's we know to... what changes we can accept and we can't. Absolutely. So we, we, we've, we've kind of had that conversation and we kind of understand that, that about each other. That we're able to kind of come together and, you know, work together and say, okay, this is a little extreme. Let's kind of work together and yeah. figure it out. Yeah. So that's what's important because change happens. Change it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You just have to know what it is you're okay with and mm -hmm. what you're not okay with. Life, life and, happens. Yeah. Life happens. Be aware of who you're doing life with. Yes. And it should be a fun ride. It really should. It really it, should it be a fun, fun ride. ride. You know what I'm saying? So bottom line, just to recap, number one, what shapes them. Number two, what drives them. Mm -hmm. Number three, what, what moves, what moves them. them. Number four, what stops or breaks them. Right. And number five, what, what changes them. them. Yeah. These are the things that we had to dig mm -hmm. for when we were what? dating. Yes. Before getting married, yes, and we hope we've been a blessing to somebody marriage, today. Marriage, marriage is marriage is a is a for life thing. You know. Say it again. I said marriage is a for life. It's a forever, forever, mm -hmm. ever. Marriage is what? Marriage is for life. <laughs> no, no, I just, oh. wanted, I just, I just, wanted, I just wanted you to right. say it. Marriage is for, it's for life. life. Yeah. <laughs> But that's all we got today, y'all. Be the light. Be the soul. And remember, all, all things, things are possible, possible if you believe.